everyone be sure to check out Berkey's channel because this is the great extent he goes to to bring you guys delicious content. So check him out, VX Berkey. All right, guys. So right here, I have the tunes for the 7.3 van. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get the van on, I'm going to set up the DP tuner, and uh, I'm going to put some tunes on there, and we're going to really see what the van is going to do now. I'm actually really excited to get the tunes on there because I haven't driven the van with the tuner on in a long time. I've been driving it on stock, you know, just cashing it on them MPGs, but now it's definitely time to get a little bit more power, so here we go. Here we have our uh, modified tunes. The burnout video that I did in this thing a while ago, I was on 120 race, and that was pretty much the only time that I ever had it on race mode because I'm not trying to blow this thing up. And uh, the 80 horsepower daily mode is definitely what I had it on the most. And when it was on 80 horsepower daily, this thing was sucking me into the seat. So uh, 80 horsepower daily, now that it's like tweaked for the van, it should skyrocket the performance of this thing, especially with that new uh, turbine wheel in the turbo. So I'm gonna give it a shot on 80 horsepower daily mode and see how that works. And then. If nothing blows up, maybe we'll kick it into 120 race. I'm not sure yet. Um, the tow mode actually comes in really handy for towing the trailer because it changes the shift patterns as well as like the torque curve and whatnot. So it really makes lugging that trailer up hills and even coasting around. Like one 60 horsepower tow mode is for towing. So that's why I like that mode. But Daily for sure is what I'm gonna put it on and just leave it on for like forever. Um, race, I probably won't see race mode much unless I'm actually going out to go race somebody. So I just went to go install the 80 horsepower um, daily mode tune and what it's doing right now is saving the way that the stock tune is right now with that, uh, with that new turbine in there. So. After this runs through saving the stock uh, ECU map, it's going to switch over to the uh, 80 horsepower daily upgrade. So it just finished saving the stock configuration. Now it's downloading the 80 horsepower daily tune onto the ECU. There we go, guys. We are in business. All right, this is about to be the 7.3's first startup on the tuner with the new turbo uh, turbine wheel in there I'm really excited right now to be dead honest with you guys so let's just go ahead and start this thing up sounds a lot different already for sure I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit before I even blip the throttle she sounds amazing So the first thing I already noticed is that just sitting here idling, when you wrap it a little bit, you definitely are getting way more coal than ever before, like on a stock tune for just sitting here. But where the coal really comes out is when you're doing a pull down the street or going uphill or anything that's putting like a really like high amount of load on the engine, that's when you're gonna see a shit ton of coal. All right, I'm in some like industrial area right now. I just had it on the road and I fucking romped it and it was gorgeous. So I'm just gonna try and share the experience with you guys. But the only way you guys are really gonna get this experience is if you're in one of these seven seats here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mat it from a dig and just go for it. Oh shit! Oh my, we're rolling so much coal! So much coal! Holy fuck, there's 60 right there! Woo! That's not even race mode, this thing fucking cooks! Oh my god, this is fucking exciting. I don't know why. I'm having more fun in this 7.3 van than I have been like in my drift cars. I don't know why, but this is fucking sick. just a 
little bit of what the DP tuner can do for your 7.3. I had a quarter tank of fuel before I started this and now I have like an eighth of a tank which is why I turned the tuner off in the first place because when you just have that much power all you want to do is romp it and you're just going to run out of gas or fuel in just the shortest amount of time you can imagine. This thing is not a cheap fuel up so I'm going to try my best to keep my foot out of it now that I have it on but I'm, I can't make any promises because that is just way too much fun. Going to let her cool down for a little bit but I am like beyond excited just because this thing is tuned again. I'm really going to save the 120 horse race mode tune for special occasions when I really really need to put it on because just on the daily mode tune this thing is is completely different like it doesn't even feel remotely close to the same because just it honestly feels like it's adding more than 80 horsepower but it's it's the torque you're gonna add 80 horse but you're gonna get so much more torque out of it which is what's giving you the being sucked into your seat feeling maybe I'll bring this to a dyno and actually get real numbers between all of the modes between stock and daily and race and we'll see what this thing can really really put down I've seen videos on YouTube of the infinity tuner on 7.3s making like 500 600 foot-pounds of torque which honestly this could be making that much torque there's only one real way to find out it honestly feels like it's making that much, but a dyno is going to be the only way to truly get a real reading of torque and horsepower. Oh yeah, you're fine. Look at that little kid though. Look at that baby ass. That's it, right there. Brendan just killed a oh, baby gosh. zombie on Dying Light, and that is the first time I have ever seen a baby zombie or any form of baby in a violent video game. Same. That's crazy that they actually had you killing a baby zombie. The cutscene was so nice, I can't believe you missed it. Leo! Hello. That glide cam light. Yeah, it's a little toasty out here. So me and Berkey are going to our buddy Jake's house right now. You guys might remember him from the 300k Battle of the Van special video. Um, he's like, his little side job is professionally detailing stuff. So the 7.3 is in extremely desperate need of a full detail. So hopefully he's gonna take care of us today. Paying the price for my uh, lead foot on the highway right now. We have arrived at Jake's house. This is brother Dylan's car. Got some Euro, Euro life shit going on up in this bitch. Yeah, no, I see that, I see that. Dude, he fucking ripped it, man. <laughs> he did rip it. All right, so we're just washing up the van now. Jake's going to give me a hand with this, but Berkey's going to be filming this in depth, so check out his channel if you want to watch us, like, kind of give the van a really good detail because I'm trying to help as much as I can and not be filming. So check out Berkey, VX Berkey. This is the straight Euro Mafia house right now. True. And then the 7.3. The BMW all day, man. Fuck the Volkswagen crew, I'm sorry. No, dude. That's how it goes. That, dude, drive for life, you know. I'm in that Beamer gang too, so I, I support that. Dude. So this shit, like, on the paint has been on there for... I don't even know how long, but a long goddamn time. Probably since you got the van. Yeah. I've never I've never washed it this in depth before, so look at the difference already. Oh no, Ryan got water in his car. Oh, he doesn't know what's good with the camera. 
She thinks it's like, it's foreign. This is Ava. Wilba, you're gonna be a porn star. I love all dogs. Dude, you gotta love Wilba. She's like the best. I know. She's so friendly. So we got the exterior pretty much washed here. Berkey's just drying it. Uh, the back was where it needed a lot of help. And check that out. It's really... It's come a long way is what I'm gonna... Is how I'm gonna word this right now. Definitely come a long way, but... Interior time now. Look at the, uh, the dash here. She's pretty crusty, man. Yeah, it's horrible right now. So I'm gonna open it all up and start taking a bunch of shit out. Jake just finished this side up. Take a look. Now we're gonna go to the other side real quick and uh, give you a little comparison as to the difference here. That's what it. That's what the other side looks like, but was way worse. Here, so you, what you got to do is like scrub this like super hard at this point to like just pretty much bring it all up, dude. Trying to shampoo these seats. Yeah, all that driving sweat. Things. Yeah. Damn, man, I can't believe how much Oh, yeah. Got a lot of dirt. Drying the floor off with an air compressor. Uh, I'm doing my power inverter right now. This is the new one. I had it, like, sitting up on the on this, like, center console for a while now, so I'm just extending the plug so that I can put this under the seat instead, and now I have my cup holders back. And now there's not the broken one right there anymore. Look at that. What are you planning on doing with those? I don't even have to say anything. This thing is just a different, this is a different beast now. Like, it's clean. It's shiny. Holy shit. I'm amazed. <laughs> Thoroughly impressed. Got the inverter rerouted too, interior's clean, seats are shampooed. Look at the dash. Just stopped at uh, Dan's shop real quick to grab the wheel that he repaired. Check that out on his channel if you didn't get to see that yet. That rim was all bent up and he completely fixed it. And it looks really nice, like it's the correct shape and uh, he balanced it and it's all good, so shout out to Dan. A little bit of on-ramp action. Woo! Still can't get over how fucking mint this thing looks. I'm really, really happy with the way the detail came out. It's so shiny. I love it. The inside is nice and clean. So I'm gonna let you guys go for the day. Thank you for watching.